going to be coming up to is our start project screen. It's broken up into two areas and the very top of it is the profile area. Now what a profile is, you can see it's called production because that's the name of the computer that we placed EDIUS on. And later on we'll be able to see as we go into the settings how we can add different profiles and delete different profiles. But what a profile is, is it enables an individual to be able to really make EDIUS work the way that they want. What this profile stores is keyboard shortcuts, the different ways of how EDIUS is going to work for each individual user. That's what a profile is. So you want to make sure you have the correct profile selected. And then when you have the recent project area right down here, this basically is just going to list the last five to ten projects that you have been working on. So you don't have to go and search for them constantly all the time. This is a clean installation of EDIUS. So we're going to go ahead and just go to New Project. Now this screen is broken up into three different areas and the first area here is the project file. Notice project name, it says Untitled 1. In this area right here is where you're going to put your project name for what you are doing. Down below it you'll notice however, if I come up here and change this to Training, you'll notice down here that the folder goes to my default that I set, EDIUS Projects, and then creates a folder called Training. This makes it very easy for you and I to be able to find our project or if that project is no longer listed on the recently used, we can find it by looking not only for our project name but looking for a folder with that exact same project name. However, they do give you the option to be able to change it to something else if you want to. I keep this checked because I like being able to have my projects being able to be found very easily. Our preset list down here is basically all of the different formats that we can edit in. You'll notice that I have four of them ranging from 1920 to 1080 all the way down to 720 by 480. Some of these can be created when you first install the program and if you've already installed the program you saw how it went through a wizard for you on that. However, like the profiles, when we go into settings, we're going to sit there and take a look at this and see how to create these, how to modify them and everything so that you can customize it just the way that you would like to have. So we've named our project. I'm going to go ahead and select 1440 by 1080 because that's what I'm going to be working in today. This third area over here, it just literally gives you the, the description of that preset. It gives you all the technical information so you can kind of look and see everything there to make sure that everything is correct and matching what it is you're going to be working on. So let's go ahead and select OK. And here you have Adius.